Okay, so um, uh, someone was asking me about when they're in the group, it's very easy to go into the witness or into the silence, into the stillness. But when they're uh, in other areas, like with family or with other situations, it seems to be quite difficult or more difficult to go into the, the into the um, the silence, the stillness, or or the witness. That that's absolutely normal. I mean, in a in a spiritual group where everyone's trying to be in silence, it's going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of support. The vibration is conducive to just the mind stilling. Uh, and then with rel re around relatives, around work and other situations, um, they usually do require more work. So those states tend to leave and one is identified with thoughts and with other people, especially remember uh, from the Course in Miracles, one of the first lessons is um, all my thoughts are meaningless, but that equally goes for all people are meaningless and all relatives are meaningless all, all the, my careers are meaningless so uh when and so there's a great opportunity there that if in a in a spiritual group there is silence and a sublime stillness and then with relatives there is not or at work there isn't which is normal so what's happening is the activation of limiting beliefs or karmas or ideas which are essentially projecting specialness or meaning or importance, either on one's individual thoughts or on, on the bodies, the objects, the bodies, the relatives, money, financial security, the symbolism. So again, it's just for purification. Uh, it's like, uh, what, what's the, you know, to go to the observer or to do the cancelling of beliefs exercises or the Course in Miracles exercises. Um, so... Um, in with it's just practice the observer in those situations so it, if there's family and the, and the observer or the silence is being lost then what's observing the loss of silence what's identifying with thoughts or or the relatives you see uh, because they're important you see if if I suddenly if you're in silence and I put a rock in front of you or a table you're not going to lose the silence because there's no no ego projection as that has any meaning so it's just a thing of just uh, dissolving any special significance or meaning from family or work or money or any other situation, because there there is because the only thing that's identifying with that is the ego, and that's why those states are being lost because the ego is identifying with stuff that still has symbolic meaning for the ego. So it's not yet one hundred percent dissolved and transcended. So the the most the the thing I'd say that is really key with those aspects is the intention whenever you meet family or go to work to reside in the witnesser or the stillness so it's like i would ask the question what's more important when you're at work or with relatives um, to be practicing the observer and going deeper into silence which will transcend any last remnants of ego identification or to go unconscious and be identifying with internal dialogue and and family members or work or money or money whatever symbol symbolisms are going on and then that that means you lose the opportunity to go deeper and transcend those now the ego might get really upset with what i said like i want to hold on to the special meaning of family and work and money or uh you know i might i may become like a hippie stuck on a rock just blissed out <laughs> may do that but um I mean that that's a possibility at a certain certain stage, but generally, uh, I would just say, for me, um, if I had a relative that was enlightened, I think that would be a pretty big blessing, even if uh, they weren't as articulate. Or if my boss was a Buddha, I think that would be wonderful. Uh, I'm sure he'd be much more chilled out. Uh, so it is for me, uh, uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins. Uh, many spiritual teachers, many spiritual research, I just re re quote it, you know, to be in the, that infinite presence is one of the biggest blessings one can give oneself and all of humanity and all of life, because those spiritual states bring enormous power and healing uh, to all those who are in those states, much more than being articulate ego um, can do. So just like in 12-step groups and, of course, the miracle groups and enlightenment groups, you know, all kinds of things heal up, all kinds of depressions leave, all kinds of addictions go. 
And it's not a thing of that people are saying something, is one is accessing higher spiritual states. That's why all the negative belief systems dissolve and all these illnesses and afflictions and poverty, uh, they all get sorted out in, in the in the um in the holy presence.